Welcome to the sixth and final installment of bulk uploading listings to eBay with a CSV file. This is the last step and it's going to cover. We're going to upload our saved CSV file. We're going to see if there are any errors and if so, we're going to fix them. We'll upload those fixes. We'll keep doing that until it's perfect. And then we're going to check that everything looks right and then we're going to be really as we say in the boston area wicked psyched so you have your csv file that you saved in the last episode and you want to go to the page in your seller hub reports uploads and we're going to go to step three proceed to upload so just click upload, choose the file from your computer, and it will upload. While it's doing that, and I don't have one handy that's correct to show you, but while it's doing that, it will have a little progress bar down in, at the moment, the left-hand corner. And it will also show you um, the progress in this the top line of your chart here of files you've uploaded and it's going to ultimately tell you it's finished and it will have uh, either a status of completed or a status with some errors um, or status of failed I believe and if you have errors or failed, you're going to want to download the report, which we do here, download results, and check out what your errors were so we can fix them. When you open up the file that they give you with the errors, it will look sort of familiar, though not entirely. But you will see they've added line numbers, which are the same as these ones here, and also um a lot of things are changed like the item id is now this kind of number and all this that none of it matters you just want to look at the error message column and conceivably the error code column so if you go through you'll see success success and then failure and these are easy to pick out because this column's otherwise blank so this failed because error code 70 using title uh, listing titles are limited to 80 characters all right we knew that we should have counted and it's an easy fix scrolling through here most of my errors are that i went over the 80 character limit here's one that's different um the provided condition id is invalid for the selected primary category and what that's about is the condition id is remember um 3000 for used or 1000 for new. And I actually just got a typo in there somehow. And um, I had a different number by mistake, like I just hit a key or something. So I had to change that back to 3000. I think all my other errors are that same uh, too long title. Oh, and on the last one, I forgot to um, copy my description all the way down so my last item failed because description is required. So those are the kind of errors you get. Occasionally you're going to get something weirder and because I can't cover every error there is, uh, my best advice to you is to Google it or uh, yeah Google it or search the help in the eBay community forums usually uh, just cutting and pasting the exact error you're getting and or the number and the description of the error, you'll turn up some information on it. Uh, as far as I know, there is no cohesive documentation from eBay of this, but there is definitely discussion because people have gotten these errors before. So what I usually do is go back into my document and um, which I apparently don't have open. Yeah. 
what I do to fix errors is usually go back into my same document that I uploaded and you'll see that because I saved it as a CSV, a few things have changed, namely this has turned into a different kind of number. Don't worry about it. That's fine. Um, and then I'll go through and I'll say, okay, line 12 is messed up. I go back over to my document and we'll go to line 12 and fix the error. You can do clear and that will leave it in the same place and then your numbers will stay the same throughout, which is actually easier. So I'll end up just changing the ones that are broken <laughs> and uploading a file that looks something like this. Like it will have a listing here and a listing here. It's lots of blank um, rows and that's fine. eBay doesn't care. And so once I have corrected all my errors, I will go back to eBay and just upload it again. It knows that it's the same thing and it just replaces those um, lines that are that were broken the first time with your new versions. Hopefully you'll get completed and no failures. If you get more failures, just do the same thing again. Only leave the ones that are broken in the file, fix them, and upload it again until you are happy. Now, what I do after this for my final check is I go to my active listings and make sure that these have all uploaded correctly. I'll go to my active listings and I will sort by start date and all the ones I just uploaded should be at the top. I'll just sort of scroll through and make sure all the pictures are there and they're going the right way. And, you know, I can even spot check one to see if it looks all right in the listing. And if so, then I'm good to go. And if there's something askew with all of them or some of them, I might actually end up deleting every single one that this happened to me a lot when I started out doing this. I will, I will end all the listings that I uploaded that are messed up and start again with my Excel file and troubleshooting and re-uploading them. So if you don't do that and you double upload something, you will get an error saying that you um, have a duplicate item error. So it's pretty full. There is a way also to upload as drafts, which I'm not going to go into, but it's the same process pretty much. And you'll see that when you're building your template on the um, reports page. So that is the whole process. Um, if you have <laughs> borne with me through these very long, very dry videos, uh, I appreciate it. And I applaud you and you should applaud yourself if you've got this working. Don't feel bad if you're doing a lot of troubleshooting at first or like you have things that are inexplicable. Ask me, ask people on the forums. A little bit of help will be found in the documentation, not much. You'll get it and it will be fast and happy and easy <laughs> if you if you want. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. Thank you, and please do subscribe if you so desire. Also hit the thumb thing, and take care.